Hi everyone, I'm Britton from Contours RX and many of you know that I've struggled for years with heavy hooded eyelids. We all lose collagen and elasticity as we get older and that can really make our eyes look really tired and aged and impact our confidence. So if you haven't seen my natural eye, this is it. So this is that heavy hooding on the eyelid that kind of lays on the eyelashes. And this is what you're seeing after one application of Lids by Design. So Lids by Design is a correcting strip that goes on the eyelid, kind of acts like a push-up bra for the eyelid. It instantly transforms your appearance from looking tired and aged to looking younger and more alert. So tonight I have um, several different sizes. I know that's a common question. What size do I choose? We've got a great sizing chart on our website that you can go and kind of assess yourself. Do I have moderate, slight, or really dramatic hooding? I know I have dramatic hooding, and so I'm gonna use one of our bigger ones. This is a seven mil. When you go and get familiar with our products, then you'll understand we kind of work in millimeters. So you don't have to live with this anymore and you don't have to have surgery to cut it off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and make a point of saying it's very important to clean your eyelid. We have our B5 prep pads. Prep pads because it's complementary to the, co the correcting strip, but also it exfoliates the dead skin cells, gets rid of the matter that keeps this from bonding to your skin. And I'll show you how that works. So right now I'm just gonna identify, I've just cleaned my eyelid, and I'm gonna identify, look at, look at that, that's crazy. Identify where that base is, that fold, where the eyelid is folding over. So you can see right there, when I kind of lift my eye, you can see where it's folding over. So that's the biggest challenge that a lot of people have in placing this strip is, well, where do I place it? You know, a lot of people say, well, I want an eyelid way up here, so I'm gonna place it up here. Well, if you place it above that base of the fold, it won't do anything. It'll actually push it down a little bit more. So what you wanna do is, again, can't stress this enough, clean dry skin, no makeup, oils, moisturizers, use the exfoliating pad. For one, have you ever exfoliated the dead skin cells off of your eyelid? It's good um, to do that. We have to exfoliate everywhere, but this will cleanse it. It will make sure that you don't have any matter, makeup, anything on there, and then get to the base of it. So when we look at it, we can see where it's folding. You wanna capture that fold within the strip. So if we look at it and clear it up, I just kind of raise my brow and place it across. You wanna capture it within the strip. Lay it across and a little twist with the tweezers will help it. Now, if you can see it, it's not yet bonded. Press and hold. A lot of people don't bond it, you have to. So, now I have an eyelid. So, what's fun about this product, for one, it's all medical grade, hypoallergenic and latex free. But what's fun about this product is, when you first get it, maybe, um, you know, it's something new. You have to practice with it a little bit. But what, why not practice with the same one? So I've got makeup on and I've cleansed my eyelid and everything else, but you can't see it. So there's no need for eyeshadow or anything else on top of it. I like it very natural. You can't see it. It's totally bonded. And a lot of people still don't believe me. I'm gonna peel it off very slowly, close to the camera, right there. You can see that's what I had on my eyelid. Now, muscle memory is an incredible thing. The longer you have it, the more that muscle memory will hold that lift. Um, so that's that excess skin that we don't want, right? So we're gonna use this. Now, this is my practice strip because I've already kind of touched it and applied it and everything else. So I'm gonna identify it. I'm gonna play around with my practice strip and identify what placement works best for me. Your eye is unique to you, and even your own eyes are unique to you. So really identify where the strip works best for you. Sometimes when I sleep on the side of the face, I kind of put it at a 45 degree angle. But have fun with it, lift and clear out the skin. That's the most important part. So I'm gonna lay it down. I'm gonna put it at a little bit more of a 45 degree angle. Maybe you can see it because now it's kind of used. Um, and so I'm gonna kind of place it there. Mm, I'm not liking that. So maybe I place it a little bit more straight across. Mm, it kind of looks good. I like that placement. 
So now what I'm gonna do is remove my practice strip and place a nice new one on for the day. So here's my seven mils that I'm playing with tonight. My favorite go-to for every day is probably my little five millimeters. And I'll show you the difference between those. So this is a little five millimeter. This will adjust your eyelid by, you know, casual lift. This is my everyday go-to though. I don't even drink my cup of coffee without that. So again, clean, dry skin, identify that base, clear it out and place it right across where you found that perfect placement. And that's all that there is. So if you wanna play around with a little 45 degree, maybe you have a little bit more hooding over here. Now that you've cleansed it with that B5 prep pad, lift it up and place it a little higher, but press and hold. You can still reuse that strip. As long as we've removed all that, and now I've got a little bit more support on that outside. I hope this tip is helpful for you and we will hopefully start doing some more. Thank you so much.